think drives it home for those who are kind of sort of casually interested in this topic is, you know, because my mom died of ovarian cancer, I do a lot of ovarian cancer events, right? It's very hard to detect by the time you you have it. It's often too late. Um, So I met a doctor who's a researcher at Johns Hopkins, and she has piloted a drug test, I'm sorry, a blood test that would tell you at stage one, whether you have ovarian cancer, just a simple blood test. It could be revolutionary for women facing ovarian cancer. And she had an NIH grant and they stopped payment. They stopped the money um, because they said somehow that her project was too woke, right? It was too much focused on, it was only, it was exclusive for one group because women are the ones with ovaries. That is so insane. And so she cannot continue her research right now on testing this pilot program. So something that could have dramatic effect on every woman in America, she can't move because of this frozen money. So it's just, to me, those are the stories that when you tell people, even people who are strong supporters of President Trump, when you tell them that story, you can see the kind of blood drained from their face, especially if they have a loved one who's prone to different forms of cancer. So... 